What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and as you guys know, this year we're not just coming to the end of another year, we are indeed coming to the end of the decade. The 2010s are nearly over and oh my god this has been the best decade of my life uh bearing in mind i was born in 2002 so i don't really remember much of the you know not 2010s but so much has happened in this decade and today we are breaking down a list this is very 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 hard for me to do the hardest list i've ever had to put together but guys it is my personal me uh for all different reasons my personal top 10 WWE one-on-one -on -one men's matches of this decade. Let's get right into the honourable mentions. Starting off my honourable mentions, we have CM Punk vs Brock Lesnar from SummerSlam 2013. AJ Styles vs Brock Lesnar from Survivor Series 2017. Daniel Bryan vs John Cena 2013 SummerSlam for the WWE title. Roman Reigns vs AJ Styles Extreme Rules 2016 for the WWE Championship as well. And finally, Triple H versus Daniel Bryan from WrestleMania 30. Winner goes on in the main event. Coming in at number 10 is the final match where Undertaker defended his streak. CM Punk versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 29. And this match stole the show. Mania 29 in 2012 was pretty stacked with matches including Cena and The Rock 2 and The Shield making their WrestleMania debut. However, this match stood out from them all. It was absolutely fantastic. Punk himself believes he should have been the main event, um, and it was just absolutely incredible. Undertaker's last successful streak defense and one of his better matches in his later days. Definitely worth a watch. Let's move on to the next. Coming in at number 9 on my list is the Money in the Bank 2016 match between Seth Rollins and the WWE Champion Roman Reigns. Reigns came into this match and defended his championship against the newly returned Rollins who claimed to redesign, rebuild and reclaim his WWE Championship after having to vacate it to injury. This match was absolutely insane. There were some amazing spots. One for example, Reigns went for a spear and Rollins managed to counter it into a pedigree. But in the end, it was the man, Seth freaking Rollins standing on top and becoming a two-time WWE champion. However, this pay-per-view alone is known for having all three Shield members hold the WWE Championship in one night. And after the match, Dean Ambrose cashed in his newly won money in the bank to become the WWE Champion. And it was amazing. Moving on to number eight. Coming up in number 8 position is the Kofi Kingston Daniel Bryan WrestleMania match with the WWE Championship at Kofi Mania aka WrestleMania 35. This match had you on edge from the very beginning. It was an absolutely fantastic match. The build up towards it was absolutely fantastic as well. There were so many moments in this match I genuinely believed that Daniel Bryan was going to win. However, in the end Kofi overcame the odds and for the first time in his career after his 11 year career became the WWE Champion. In the number seven position, we have the WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and John Cena at the 2017 Royal Rumble. I remember watching this match and at the time knowing that this was going to go down as an instant classic. AJ Styles, the current champion defending his title, was made to look very strong in this match and was only beaten after an avalanche attitude adjustment by John Cena. This match is iconic as it is the one where John Cena tied Ric Flair's record of 16 World Championship reigns. For lack of a better word, it was phenomenal. This next match was absolutely amazing. It was booked as once in a lifetime. But I swear we are literally doing this exact same match next year. This match is the only WrestleMania main event that has been made exactly a year before the next WrestleMania. The night after WrestleMania 27, John Cena challenged The Rock to a match in the main event of WrestleMania 28, which The Rock accepted. This match was fantastic, and as, I, as a kid, I remember being absolutely distraught when The Rock won, because, you know, when you're a kid, John Cena is your favourite. But yeah, they did it again next year, but in my opinion... This one was the better match. I don't know if that's a popular opinion or not, but in my mind, this one was better. 
coming in at number five, we have the Money in the Bank 2011 clash between John Cena and CM Punk for the WWE Championship. In a lot of people's books, this would be the number one match for WWE this decade. However, once again, this is my own personal opinion. This match was absolutely fantastic, taking place in CM Punk's hometown of Chicago. And in storyline, well, we didn't know it was storyline at this point, but Punk's contract was actually expiring with the company that night, meaning the stakes for this match were at an all-time high. If Cena lost, he would be fired. They ended up to botch this storyline, but initially in this match, it was amazing. CM Punk won and left the WWE for a couple weeks, but never mind. This match was great. The next match on my list is Randy Orton versus Batista versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 30. Bryan had already competed once tonight against Triple H, as you see in my honourable mentions, but now it was time for the main event versus Randy and Batista. Bryan overcame the odds, and oh my god, it was a fantastic match. The tension, the drama, it was electric, to quote Michael Cole, and oh my days, I was, I, I literally remember sitting there watching this when I was 11 years old. It was my first WrestleMania I watched live and I was in awe. This had been what Brian had been working towards for months and he finally overcame the odds. He finally beat the authority and finally became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This next match on my list is one that I have said in the past is my favourite match of all time. Now that statement is still true. However, this list is from a pure wrestling, storytelling, everything sort of perspective. I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can. Triple H versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 27 was absolutely fantastic. For me especially, it was the first ever serious wrestling match. I've, I've ever seen and the point that I saw was where Undertaker physically couldn't stand afterwards really set in stone that this industry isn't fake uh, and stuff does go wrong but this match for me as a kid was absolutely incredible the story behind it was fantastic and other than Undertaker not being able to walk out at the end it is definitely in my top three of all time <laughs> The number two position on my list comes to the sequel of the previously mentioned match, Undertaker vs Triple H, End of an Era, Hell in a Cell, Shawn Michaels special guest referee at WrestleMania. The match itself, the storytelling, everything, the emotion, it was all there and this is literally a perfect match. Sean literally crying that Undertaker won't stay down. The near falls, I, I, it could not have been better. I genuinely don't think there's a way it could have been better. This was the night I genuinely believed the streak could have ended. But no, it didn't. It carried on. And in the end, all three men walked backstage together. It was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, you have to go and watch it. <laughs> The number one on my list is Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels from the very beginning of the decade at WrestleMania 26. The stakes were so high in this match, it was streak versus career. The fans wanted neither man to lose. This match had such high stakes. Obviously a rematch from the years before. I do believe that WrestleMania 25 match was slightly better than this one. But still, no other match of this decade in my opinion could have topped this. The emotion was high. Literally, it's all three have been Undertaker matches, like my top three, for a reason. He's had the best WrestleMania matches, but in the end, it was Shawn Michaels that lost, and Shawn Michaels was forced to retire from WWE forever. And what a fantastic match. Michaels kept to his word and stayed retired until... Now look, Vince, I already told you I am never going to wrestle again. I want to stick to my word. How many million? Oh, <laughs> count me in. But Sean, you said that you were going to stay home now. I don't want you going back there. I'll call you back in two seconds. Yeah, Vince. Yeah, what time's that plane to Saudi Arabia leave tomorrow? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my top 10 WWE matches, one-on-one -on -one for the men in 2010s. Uh, this entire decade has been very, very jam-packed, filled with fantastic matches, and it was very, very difficult, believe you me, for me to narrow that down to 10. My initial list had 50, and I had to cut that down to 10 matches, which is insane. Um, but... 
Other than that, this is my opinion. I will probably look back in this video in a year and be like, well, I probably should have included that match instead of this match. But you know, that's just how things work. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. But anyway, so far, I'm happy with the list. I'm happy how it went. I'm just being honest. This is just my opinion. I would like you guys to leave me your top 10 matches of this decade down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you like the little skips I put in as well. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.